at this point you should have wire two kinds of wire uh, and inside here is called cat5 wire and uh, this is regular hookup wire you'll enjoy working with this wire a little bit better uh, the tools that you need will be wire strippers and needle nose pliers I bought these pliers uh, when I was 12 so I've had them a really long time uh, the wire strippers will need to go to uh, 22 or 24 gauge I recommend 24 gauge because your cat5 wire is 24 gauge make sure you get a one with a spring in it and uh, easy to work with feel it make sure it feels good that you have good good uh, squeeze and good cut because you're gonna be working with these a lot so spend the money you can you can buy a decent pair of wire strippers for about 10 bucks and the needle nose uh, if you go to Harbor Freight they have them for uh, two dollars okay so what's next this is what you're gonna be building this here is the infrastructure it's going to take you about uh, 14 hours to, to build 12 to 14 hours and uh, what you will be doing is we'll be building this in sections we're going to build this section the lights the switches the logic probe and then the display area just to show you what it looks like um, so here is your different parts uh, let me take this wire here and hook this up. I'll get one of them running. I'm going to plug this into one of the switches here. And so all, all these light up like that. You have push button switches and you also have um, slide switches. You have 12 slide switches. And nine leds this device this section over here called the logic probe is a really nice device this here is showing you that it's not connected so it's yellow when it's connected it's green think of green like grass for low and this is low and this is high blue like the sky so blue for high green for low yellow for not connected this white light should uh, be on all the time and this yellow light should be uh, on when you don't have it connected now the blue light is going to disappear when you get dimmer and dimmer as your battery over here gets weak so uh, just something to keep in mind if this is really dim when you put it on high if your circuit's acting strange and this light stops working then you know that your battery is weak time to replace the battery I recommend you get a couple nine volt batteries uh, tape the tops so that way they don't short out we've had people uh, accidentally short out their batteries and uh, they've melted these wires not a nice thing and the last major addition here is the binary to hexadecimal display driver right now it's set to zero <clears throat> and the way binary works uh, you're gonna learn this in class or hopefully you've already learned this in class is each position turns on um, a number so when you turn the first one this here's gonna give you one so the next position here is this here is two to the zero this is two to the one two to the one means two two times it's two times um, two only <clears throat> This here is 2 to the 2, which means 2 times 2. And this here is 2 to the 3rd, which is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So just to demonstrate, we have a 1, 2, 4, and 8. So when you start flipping switches, so uh, 8 plus 1 is... Nine. Cool. Eight. And then what's eight plus two? Why it's A, of course. So A indicates ten. So what is eight plus two, which is ten, 
plus one more is B. And so the next number would be 8 plus 4 is C. One more is D. So that is 14, 14 excuse me, 13. That's 14, and that's 15. Okay. So you go from uh, 0 to F in binary with 4 bits. So this switch here also represents a term called a nibble. Uh, 4 bits is a nibble, 8 bits is a byte, and uh, 16 bits, uh, I always wanted to call it lunch, and 32 should have been dinner, but didn't work out that way. So uh, you have a nibble, 4 bits, 8 bits is uh, a byte, and then 16 is a word, and 32 is a long word. But uh, should have called it breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What can we say? Okay, so uh, you're going to be building this. Do not panic. There's going to be videos showing you how to do this step by step. And I'll see you shortly. Thank you.